Hi everybody, my name is Adam Staples. I am the lecturer in charge for EDFG 460 Creativity and Imagination in Education. And this is a short video to welcome you to the unit and uh, it gives me a cricket opportunity to explain uh, some of the, the different aspects of the unit, how it's going to be, how it's going to run, um, how you can lo locate things on Leo. And really just to start that process of familiarizing yourself with um, the actual unit. So I said, as I said, my name is Adam Staples and I am a lecturer here in the Faculty of Education and Arts at ACU on the Melbourne campus. My specific discipline is visual arts education at a primary level, um, but I also have um, a very deep-seated interest in, in online learning. And so I am the lecturer in charge for a suite of online units um, where uh, we begin to explore not only the content, but also what it is to be an online learner um, in today's world. So EDFD 460 um, is creativity and imagination in education and it's a very broad unit and it is responding to um, contemporary educational policy where the word, certainly the word creative um, seems to be out there a lot but um, when it actually comes to unwrapping it and doing something with it um, a lot of us fall, fall quite short. So the unit is not about giving you a series of lesson plans by the end of the 12 weeks which are going to somehow allow you to be a creative and an imaginative teacher. Um, it's more about um, giving you strategies and ways of opening up and broadening your own perspectives about creativity and imagination and as a result broadening your your views and your perspectives about education as, as a whole. So the unit is fully online so therefore it does run entirely through um, through Leo. Leo being the online learning system that we have here at ACU. I've sent everybody an email um, with a link that shows you how to access Leo if, if that's not, um, if you're having a problem, but by the very fact that you're watching this video you would have got into Leo, so, so congratulations. The unit is a paperless um, unit, so to the, to the best of our ability we're not going to print anything out um, this semester, and um, that starts with the good old unit outline. So you can see on the screen here, I've got the, the home page for the unit open on Leo. And uh, if you were to go into the unit information module, which is the top one, you will see that um, at the moment a couple of, couple of options are coming up. So you've got the unit outline and you've also got a very short um, lecturer's biography. If you were to click onto the um, EDFT 460E unit outline, uh, you will see that the, the very conventional ACU uh, unit outline template will appear. And in that unit outline, it has absolutely everything to do with the unit um, appearing. Now, because it's a paperless uh, unit, what you can actually do is if you click on any of the uh, menu items on the left-hand side, it will take you directly to that particular point within the unit outline. So if you wanted to have um, information, say, about assignment number one, if you wanted the details, if you scroll down to assignment number one in the menu and click on that, it will actually take you to the assignment one details section um, of the unit outline. And once you finish reading that particular section, you'll see at the bottom here it says back to top of the page. Click on that and it takes you back to the top of the page and therefore back to the actual menu. Now I'd really like to encourage you to use the online version as opposed to printing it out. So at the moment there is a print option. If you go down to the bottom of the menu, you can print out the conventional uh, unit outline. Um, once I've got my HTML coding hat on a little bit more, I'm actually going to change it so that that link disappears. You will still be able to print it out, but it won't be the pretty version. It'll be a very um, basic version. So I'm really trying to make sure that this fully online unit is to all intents and purposes um, online. Okay. Now, all of these different sections, if relevant, they actually connect to other areas on the unit um, on the, the Leo site as well. So for instance, um, if I was to go to the um, assignments folder or the assignments module on Leo and I wanted to have a look at assignment one details, if I click on assignment one details there, it actually takes me to the unit outline that we just had a look at. So it's all to do with links. So that means that I can spend my time updating the e-unit outline, so that the web version of it, and it will link to everywhere else on, on the page, making a lot more sense. Um, so hopefully you will find that useful over the course of the semester. The, as well as learning about creativity and imagination, we're actually also going to be learning about how to be online learners. And this is really important, and I can't, um, I can't stress this enough, that 
learning in the online environment is actually very different to learning in a face-to-face -face environment and we, we have to build the learning space that we're in. I, some of you have actually been in, the, in my other online unit, the learning space, last semester and it's great to have you on board again. Um, and I think that you will actually understand what it is to develop a learning space and all the different facets about you know, what a learning space is. So for those of us in EDFG 460 in this unit, we're going to be spending some time, um, a very important time, developing our own learning space within, within Leo and within each other. So we're, we're creating a social learning space. And to do that, we use the work of an academic called Jilly Salmon, who is based at Swinburne University in Melbourne. And she has developed um, a, a theoretical framework called the five stages. And th that's basically going from this point, so the beginning of the unit, right through to the end of week 12. And what we do is we, we look into accessing the unit, which you've already done. We investigate and develop um, our social um, persona within that unit. So um, understanding that learning is a, is a social enterprise. So you, you, know, you can learn things by yourself, but you can also, it's very important to learn um, you know, as a member of a group. Then we look into um, information sharing, then knowledge generation, and finally it's about development, where you're up and running as a really effective um, online learner and you're able to use, use that space um, beautifully to, you know, and use all its advantages. So the, the Salmon five-stage model sits underneath what we do with creativity and imagination, because if you want to have a really effective and enabling and enlightening time within the unit in terms of learning about creativity and imagination, you need to be a capable um, online learner as well. So the unit sort of got that that dual, you know, it's almost, you know, it's got the, um, the the dual purpose. So learning about creativity and imagination, and also learning how to become um, an online learner. Part of that then filters down into this idea of a community of practice. And again, those of you in EDFG 460 will know what I'm talking about. Communities of practice take time to emerge. And, um, you know, EDFG 460 will be our community of practice. Well, we start out on the periphery. Um, we're not experts, but as we become experts, we, we develop the sort of mutual um, understanding and a mutual um, learning environment. And there's also that idea of transformative learning as well. So it's not about me telling you um, how to think about creativity and imagination. It's about you as the learner um, understanding new perspectives, acknowledging new perspectives about creativity and imagination. And when you blend those three things together, the, the Salmon five-stage model, communities of practice and transformative learning, um, I think you'll see by the end of the 12 weeks you have a really fantastic learning experience that is sustainable. Okay, so um, whilst I mentioned the 12 weeks, I don't like to think about the unit only being 12 weeks. What I want the 12 weeks to be is a, is a launching pad, a stepping stone, so that you, at the end of it, you move on and you are continually developing your understanding of and your ability to teach into creativity and imagination. So it may sound you know, a little bit overwhelming at this stage of the game, but um, as we continue through the unit, it, it does make sense. So just having a look at the structure of, of the unit, we've got the unit information module that I've already spoken about. Very important that we have a communication module. And when you click on there, you'll see that there are two main elements in there. You've got the questions and queries for Adam, and you've got the important messages for Adam. Whenever you have a question and a query that, about the unit that isn't of a personal nature, please put it into there. So post a, a, um, a, a message into that discussion forum. The chances are that somebody else will have a similar query. So rather than me answering questions time and time again, we can actually get involved in a conversation in, in that space, and it, it works really well. When I have something very particular to say, I will um, send an important message from Adam. Okay, and at, at certain points throughout the semester, uh, throughout the assignment number one, which is the e activities, I'll ask you to keep on going back and checking that, just to make sure you get into the habit of using um, those two discussion forums, because they are very helpful. Throughout the weekly format, there are, or the, you know, each week that we have, there are other discussion forums as well, so that those two are really when you've got questions or queries, or when I've got something very important um, to say. The welcome module you've already accessed by by fact, the fact that you're actually watching this video now. The, the general format of a week um, is as follows. So every week, um, the, the format will be the same, obviously the content will be different. So it's good in week one to actually get used to that, so you begin to know how the unit will flow for you. Each weekly module will have the week at the top left-hand corner. There will be um, a general theme, so week one is 
introduction to the unit. Then we look at the cultural context of um, creative and imagination. We have a look at the curriculum context of um, creative and imagination, um, reflective and sustainable learning as well. So that the main theme will be at the top. I've then included the particular stage of the salmon five stage model that we're addressing. So in, in week one, we're looking at stage one, which is access and motivation, in particular the access stage. Um, as we move into, into week two, you'll see that you're, we're addressing stage one and stage two. So this is to give you um, something to achieve or work towards in that particular week. And I've, I've listed particular achievements that will, will have happened by the end of that week. Not the only ones, but, but particularly important ones. Then each week we'll have an introduction, okay, and it's, it's well worth your while reading the introduction because it will just step you through gradually what I'm expecting within that particular week. For instance, in this one, it tells you about the first Adobe Connect session that we have, so that is um, the, the sort of online virtual lecture or, or conversation that we have. Very important for developing that idea of a, a social learning environment. Then I'm asking you to engage with um, Cortex 1A, um, then I'm asking you to um, engage with the second text uh, and just take your time to start reflecting it. So make sure you do read through that introduction in each week because it will give you a clue as to what I'm asking to do. Then each week we'll have um, the different readings. Please note that you don't need to go and buy any readings. Okay, So I will give all of the readings or provide all of the readings as links um, on Leo. Then there's a resources section, so each week there will be resources that you either need to have access to when you're completing your activity or whatever it may be. In week one, I've asked you to start thinking about mind mapping software and, and locating that and downloading it. Um, throughout the semester, you're going to be developing a mind map um, of your learning. Then we have discussion forums. Um, sometimes there may be a few discussion forums or even one. Um, on occasion, there may be four or five discussion forums. But whilst that will look overwhelming when you initially see it, Again, I guide you as to when you need to use um, each particular one. The ACS stands for Adobe Connect Session. So those of you that haven't used it before, Adobe Connect is um, a, uh, it's like a virtual well, software that allows you to have a virtual conversation, almost like I'm having now, except for it's in real time. And you can also download and access the recording at the end of it. And this is, we have one sort of once every two or once every three weeks throughout the semester. Um, and it allows us to touch base, get to know each other, ask any questions, it allows me to unwrap some particular content. Um, and as we move through the semester, we'll also be doing some um, e-tivity um, activities on through the Adobe Connect sessions too. You can either um, access Adobe Connect via, your, via the link that I post up, so the link is actually um, here, uh, or you can actually access it through your, your handheld device as well. Then we have um, the activities, and every week there is an activity. The the twelve activities amount to a total of twenty five percent of the unit, and they're designed to guide you through the content, scaffold into the um, the other two assignments, and really allow you to familiarise yourself and become confident in the online environment. And um, you'll get to know them obviously um, in a lot of detail. But once you've actually accessed activity one, you'll see that it's a series of questions. You're guided through them, so you're asked a question and you're asked to do something. Um, and then you confirm whether you've done it or not. And once you've said, yes, I have done it, it takes you on to the next question. And depending on the activity, there may be two questions or there may be five, but they're, they're, or even more. They're, they're never onerous, um, but they're about um, you know, getting you through and, and, and sort of guiding you through some of the content. And then each week, there's also going to be um, a summary or review of what that week has done. So this is very much part of the e-moderating e process, which is um, my responsibility. The other module which is available at the moment is the um, assignments module, and there isn't a huge amount in there other than, at this stage, other than the, the assignment details and then some of the resources that we're going to be using. Feel free to access them. Don't become overwhelmed by them. Um, the way I run this unit is that I release the content um, on a weekly basis. So rather than having all 12 weeks in there initially, um, it's released to you sort of drip by drip. It's, it's a far more um, non-threatening and non-threatening um, and effective way to, to work in the online environment. So um, a student actually sent me a question this morning. Uh, and it was a very it was a brilliant question. So it was he said I've I've accessed this information. Where do I start? What do I do? I'm new to online learning. And so I just very quickly 
um, want to sort of give you some pointers about what you might do over the next few days before we start um, on the 24th of February. Make sure you read the unit outline. Um, if you've got any questions about it, let me know. If there's anything you're unsure about, let me know. Um, I have had it um, reviewed um, by a really experienced student, um, but feedback is always good. Um, you know, sometimes the language I use may not make sense or whatever it may be. So if there's something you, you, you're unsure about, let me know and I can review it and, and sort of make it a little bit more um, easy to access. So read the unit outline, um, look at the um, assignment tasks and begin to think what they mean, what are they expecting of you. Start to think about what creativity and imagination in education is. Okay, so, um, you know, there, there isn't a particular definition about it, so you're not going to get into trouble if you don't get the definition a definition right at the beginning. We work towards that and we begin to unwrap it. Begin to, begin to think about it now. Read the, the Jilly Salmon five-stage um, model and think about where you fit into that. So how does her language make sense to you as a learner? If you haven't been an online learner before, think about what it might mean. Um, if you have been an online learner before, you'll know it well, but it's always good to go and, um, and revisit it. And that'll be a really good start. I don't want you overwhelmed. I don't want you reading every required text or anything like that. Just begin to find your feet within the unit. Um, keep on exploring it. Where are the discussion forums? Where's the ask uh, questions and queries for Adam forum? How do I get back to the unit outline? Things like that. That is you beginning to access the site. So the stage one of Salmon's five stages and familiarizing yourself with the unit um, and developing your, your personal learning space, albeit online. So uh, I look forward to working with you over the next um, 12 weeks. Um, it's a great unit, uh, there are lots of challenges in it, um, but challenges that are, are really well worth, uh, that are well worth meeting. So any questions, just let me know, but otherwise I look forward to seeing you online um, at the beginning of next week, and our first Adobe Connect session is next Tuesday. Um, please try and make it if you can, but those of you who can't, the recording will be up um, shortly at, um, at the end of the actual session. So have a great final week of your holiday, and I look forward to seeing you online next week.